Hello everybody. Welcome to this lecture on the introduction to digital computer systems. So digital computer systems are basically used for performing various computational tasks. And here the word digital uh, refers to uh, the information that is used in the, com in the computer system, uh, which is digital in nature. That is, it takes a very limited number of discrete values. And these values usually is limited to two values, that is 0 and 1. So in the digital computer system, we have the representation of information using the binary number system. So in this video today, we are going to look into the binary number systems and we are going to also see uh, what are the various components that make up a digital computer system. So, in the binary b uh, number system, we have every bit or every inform in the Every bit of information is represented in the form of either a 0 or a 1. And this is known as a, this is, each of this is known as a bit. Okay, so the information, basically, this is the smallest unit and then these are uh, combined together. A series of zeros and 1s are combined together to represent some kind of information. Now, uh, a group of such uh, bits, that is 8 bits taken together, forms a byte, which is the smallest unit of information that is ma maintained in a com digital computer system. Now, in this particular course, we will be looking into not just the binary number system, but we are also going to see how the computer hardware is constructed or how it operates uh, with the help of these uh, different, uh, with the various units, which we can uh, look at it like this. So here I have the input unit okay then I also have the output unit then the main processing is done by the central processing unit alright and to perform all computation the central processing units makes a un makes use of uh, a unit which is known as the ALU or the arithmetic and logic unit and to store intermediate represent informations and so on the there is also the memory so the input device gives the information to the processor the processor sends it to the ALU for computation and returns the result and the CPU can uh, store the result in memory or it can read the data from memory and also it can send the output to the output devices for uh, for uh, to give it back to the user to give uh, back the output to the user so all these uh, constitute the hardware of the of a digital computer system and each of these units are comprised of the small of different digital circuits electrical circuits which perform all these computations so in this paper we are going to discuss about uh, how these uh, different units uh, perform how they work as i have mentioned earlier that the digital computer system works on binary information but however the computers are electrical and uh, they are electronic and um, electromagnetic devices electronic and electromagnetic so 
so it directly doesn't understand a zero or a one so this is represented through electrical signals through electrical signals so these electrical signals also doesn't under, doesn't uh, represent zero or one or it does not uh, uh, you cannot have a zero or a one in the form of an electro electrical signal. So in an electrical signal like say voltage uh, can, we can say that if say it is three volts, then it represents a one. And if it is say uh, zero volt or okay, uh, some very lo lo some very small uh, volt, let's say 0.5 volt, then it represents a zero. So the signals, Elect electrical signals, your zeros and ones are represented through electrical signals. And these signals, they are entered into the digital circuits which make up the components of the computer. So digital circuits. So these digital circuits, they make up the components of the of the computer system so the input to these are these uh, signals which is basically your say the different voltage so that can be one and different voltage again represents the binary digits and these circuits perform some task based on how what they are designed to perform and then they give some output again in the form of signals so which can be interpreted in forms in the form of zeros and ones so this is basically how your digital computer system works so in the next video we are going to look at binary number system and logic gates